Online worship. Let me ask you a question. What kind of food makes you full? For me, a huge bowl of udon will make me full. But what about some french fries? French fries won't make you full, right? It will if I eat it with a burger. But just french fries won't be enough for me. When Jesus had to feed 4,000 people, all they had were seven loaves of bread and a few fish. But Jesus fed everyone until they were full. How is that possible? Let's find out more. Today's passage comes from Matthew chapter 15, verse 35 to 38. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, and when he had given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and they in turn to the people. They all ate and were satisfied. Afterward, 
the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. The number of those who ate was 4,000 men besides women and children. Amen. Jesus had been traveling with his disciples and they went along the Sea of Galilee. Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down. So many people came to see him, including those who were paralyzed, blind, injured, and unable to speak. People laid them at Jesus' feet and Jesus healed them. People were amazed when they saw those who had been unable to speak, talking, and the paralyzed and injured walking, and the blind seeing, and they praised the God of Israel. Boys and girls, just how we learned from last week's Bible story, Jesus is our healer. Jesus has all power to heal us, and His desire is to make us well. Not only our physical bodies, but our mind, soul, and heart as well. Jesus healed people and also taught them about God. When he was done, Jesus looked at a large crowd of people and had compassion on them. What does compassion mean? Compassion means you care about others and feel a strong desire to help those in need. The people had already been with Jesus for three days and they had nothing to eat. And some had come from far away to meet him. Jesus told his disciples, If I send them home right now, they won't have enough strength to travel. The disciples said, But Jesus, we are not near the city. Where can we get enough bread to feed all of these people in this wilderness? Jesus asked, How many loaves of bread do you have? The disciples answered, Seven. They knew seven loaves of bread was not even close to the amount of food they needed. They probably thought, why is Jesus even asking us how much food we have? He knows that we don't have enough. But then Jesus does something amazing. Jesus told all the people to sit down. He took the seven loaves, gave thanks to God, and broke the bread into pieces. As he was doing that, he gave the food to his disciples and the disciples served the food to the crowd. The disciples also had a few small fish, so Jesus blessed the fish and served that too. Everyone who was there ate enough and was satisfied. Boys and girls, Jesus provides for all our needs. He knows what we need and when we need it. If we trust and believe in the truth that he is our provider, we can be content in every circumstance in our lives. After people were done eating, the disciples collected seven baskets full of leftover pieces. Jesus fed the entire crowd, 4,000 men plus women and children, with only seven loaves of bread and few fish. Jesus told the people to go home. Then he and his disciples got into a boat and left that place. Christ's connection. Jesus fed the 4,000 people with bread and fish. Later, Jesus called himself the bread of life. In John chapter 6, verse 35, it says, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Even though eating bread will make us full, we will get hungry again soon. But Jesus can fully satisfy our bodies and souls forever. With Jesus, we don't have to be thirsty or hungry ever again. Let us pray together, remembering the lesson we learned today. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being the bread of life. You are the one who satisfies our souls with the joy of salvation. We come to you with gratitude for all that we have. We love you and we praise you. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen.
thy name to sing. Help us to praise, Father all glorious, for all victorious, come to reign over us. the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 